I'm talking about. These two idiots have no respect for anything, anyone, and especially not anything to do with Riot City hey, Wrestling. Don't talk about Brooksy and Katie Trey like that. They're nice guys. No, look, if I'm talking about idiots, I'm talking about you and those two big idiots in the ring. Unbelievable disrespect right there. Where, where are you on that bandwagon right now, Sean? Just curious, did you fall off again? Residents, what we have here now is an impromptu tag team match between the team of Adam Brooks and Katie Trey and these, these so-called savage gentlemen. Fooled us all. Woo! They did, didn't they? It's funny. Cover here. Always oh, great to see Brooksy back in an RC dub ring. Speaking of Brooksy, Josh, a quick history lesson. Who's the one man in this company that uh, Big Brody Marshall's been unable to beat? Well, that might be one ledge, Adam Brooks. And who's the youngest member of the Riot City Wrestling locker room to take Big Brody Marshall to the edge? That, that would be the same man. It would be Katie Trey, actually, the youngest member. Well, him too. Katie Trey introducing Tyler Daniels to the bite. Yeah, I was wondering if you're actually going to mention he was biting him in the middle of a wrestling match. Oh. Got him, got him. Wow, you guys. Oh, oh, he's going for that swinging neck breaker, but I tell you what, Tyler Daniels being the difference, being the veteran, moved out of the way. So it came oh, off. Speaking of veteran wow. moves. Didn't see that coming, unfortunately. And they say, oh, there's that swinging neck breaker. You know, Bo Bo Wolf Dog, these two think, cover, these two think they know every dirty trick in the book, but they haven't even looked at half of the pages written by Adam Brooks. I'm well aware of Adam Brooks and uh, the lengths he'll go to to win a match. Oh, jeez. Well, there goes Katie Trey. Ugly, ugly landing there. Trey might have hurt himself. And Marshall pouncing like a jackal. Brody Marshall laying in the boot. Absolute jackal just picking off his weakness. Just so you, you fanboys both know, there's never really a good landing on the outside, okay? They're all pretty ugly. You would know from ugly, Wolf Dog. Oh, I'm stuck next to both of you. Big tag there. These Four. two working as a cohesive unit, which should be as no surprise, considering what they've pulled in the past two months. Former two-time RCW champion. He is too big to break. Not too big to take a shortcut. Do we need to sit this lesson again, Sean? What is it about? Beautiful suplex there by the big man. Take it over Katie Trey now. Cover. Goes for the cover, doesn't hook her leg. Oh, oh, look at that. It's that, Wolf Dog. It's the disrespect that he shows to his opponents and especially to the residents of Riot City. This is a man who should rightly be praised for his accomplishments and he can't be because he's just a oh, damn oh, jerk. I praise him for his accomplishments all the time. What are you talking about? You've heard the expression damned with faint praise. That was written for you. Oh, it's nice. Josh, what makes Tyler Daniels so dangerous in this new arrangement between these two? Well, it's just the way that his mind works. I mean, if it's possible that there's somebody with a more sinister mind than Big Brody Marshall, it is Tyler Daniels. Look, I cover the courts during the week and I haven't seen a mind as sinister as Tyler Daniels in the courtroom. And look at this, the referee, out of place here. Let's go, this referee's useless. Well, at least the tag was made. He heard, he heard, he heard the tag, he heard the tag. Oh, come on, Wolf Dog. Great job by the referee. He's didn't you say if a referee doesn't see it, it doesn't happen? No, I didn't say anything of the sort. Massive yeah. fall away slam there by Big Brody Marshall. And then doing, unfortunately, the smart thing, cutting that ring in half. Josh, the key to tag team wrestling. Cutting the ring in half, keeping your opponent in your own corner so that they cannot get that tag. In this instance, KD Trey could not tag Adam Brooks. Brooksy wants in. Wolf Dog. Did, did, you just ask Josh, did you just ask Josh Armour for the secret of tag team wrestling? He would have said, push this X and then the triangle. What I was going to ask you is, what's the worst thing about being caught between these two men? Um, I happen to hear you two all night. Oh, not you two. The savage gentleman. I don't think there'd be anything. I, I, I would love to be their tag team partner. But if you were their opponent, Wolf Dog. I wouldn't be their opponent. I wouldn't be that silly to get in the ring with them. And this is why I asked Josh Armour questions instead of you. Thank you for proving my point. All, all four men in this ring have had tag team experience, experience in the past. Of course, Adam Brooks, his tag team partner. 
Kellyanne of the Bestos. We've got KB Trey, who's been in there as a partner with, with Tony Toro. Big Brody Marshall is, well, he's tagged with Chris Basso in the past. And Muhammad Ali Vaez as well. Yes. And Tyler Daniels is a former multi-time tag team champion in his career before Riot City Wrestling. So these guys have a lot of experience all the way around. One of the things that fascinates me about Daniels is the way it seems like nobody can hold a grudge against him. Wolfdog, he threw you out at the Rumble and you still like the guy. Well, because if the situation was reversed, I would have done the exact same thing to him. So is that the secret to his success then? He finds like-minded individuals, people as depraved and craven as he is? No, some people are intelligent enough to realise that in the professional wrestling world, all that matters in the end is the win. Josh, he just agreed with me, didn't he? He said depraved and craven. That happened. Yeah, good. Yep. Katie now firing up. Oh, what a knee there to the gut. That young man has been in the ring for a very, very long time. Come on! Youthful resilience is one thing, but I just don't know how much punishment people can stand. Carla Daniels now with that iconic attack now, whipping Katie Trey to the corner. Oh, Katie Trey now, up with that boot. But it was a separation there. Oh, oh, look at that, look at that. There you go, there's a strength there at Tyler Daniels. You can't coach strength. It's deceptive strength as well with Tyler Daniels. KD going for a bulldog into the corner. I think he, he caught some momentum there driving Daniels in, but... I don't think he got all he wanted, but I'll tell you what, it might be enough to get him to the tag, and that's really what he needs to do. And look at Daniels there. Yeah, see, he didn't get him with a, if he hit him with a harder blow, this wouldn't be happening. Daniels stopping KD from making that tag. Brooksy wants in so oh, bad. Oh, there you go. No, he's still, there you go. Look at the resiliency here at Tyler Daniels. That's right. Oh. Can't ever count that man down. Pushed him off that time. Here comes Marshall. Here comes Marshall. Now that's Spa Tag Team Wrestling. Oh my man. gosh, and then a boot to the face. Marshall. See what he did there? He went right past Katie Trey and took out Brooksy in the corner. Marshall saving the match for his team and getting a small measure against Adam Brooks. There's no love lost between those two men. Katie now in the absolute worst position you can be in in a tag team contest. Yeah, that was a very smart. So these two are working very well as a functioning tag team here. But Daniel's saying this one's for you, Brooksy. KD fighting out of it. Go, 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 go! Oh, look, there's Finger referee. tips away! Referee Michael Kent right there. Well, there, there we go! go. And it brooks now, there's the loose ledge of Australian professional wrestling now opening up here. Oh, the loose ledge is a house of fire. Absolutely beautiful firing for him again, there's a third one. Tyler Daniels now back into the corner now, Adam Brooks firing off, duck under their clothesline. Oh, look at this. Oh, it drops him in the DDT in the middle of the ring. Agility beyond compare from the loose ledge. Cover. Marshall in for the save. Again, like it or not, Spark Tag Team Wrestling. Go wait to see if your partner can kick out, make sure the three count's not there. Taking full advantage of the rules. Oh, wow. And breaking faces at the same time. Wow. Oh, look at this great float over there by Brooksy. No one again. Oh, speaking of a float over. Spider-Man's got nothing on Adam Brooks. Oh. If anybody finds Tyler Daniels' teeth, please return them to the concession stand. Oh, oh, oh. And pick up Bernie Marshalls uh, while you're at it. Yeah, I was gonna say, same can be said here, look at this. Double heart. I take what it back, Daniels is in the worst place he can ever be in a tag oh, team match. Is. KD Trey digging in. That was one heck of a leap there. Amazing, almost covered half the, more than half the ring. Oh, I think he might have knocked him out here. Daniels, veteran move rolling out there. I think Daniels knows where he is. Well, no, but I think Brody Bro Bro Marshall pulled him out of the ring. What? Are they bailing? Oh, come on. Well. Referee's counting. He's up to five. You two cannot be serious. 
look at this. I'd rather get counted out than be pinned. Residents of Riot City, your winners via count out, KD Trey and Adam Brooks.